From today, you have exactly 221 days before New Year's Eve, where you're gonna flex on everyone with your new fit body, new style, and new attitude on life. When that clock ticks to the next year, you're gonna be the first one to take your shirt off and jump into that pool, and hopefully get some cooch along the way. Yes, sir. Now, I'm posting this on the 25th of May, but it's likely that you'll find this video after this is posted, so I want you to start as soon as possible. Firstly, let's dissect your mindset going into the glow up. The first thing to understand is that the whole process will feel quite easy at first, but in a few days when your mates invite you to have drinks and a kebab at 2 a.m., you'll be tempted to skip that day or maybe skip the days after due to your come down and the diarrhea you got from that kebab. Bruh. I have three words for you though. Don't be a bitch. I want you to promise yourself that you're gonna be strong and that you're gonna be disciplined and that you want change. Now, here's a quick warning. You're going to notice that some of your friends, family, or girls that you talk to will start to make fun of you for trying to change your life. You need to shut that noise out. This behavior is happening because seeing you improve your life creates panic in people that remain stagnant. When you level up, it shows them that they're falling behind. This process will actually also show you who your real friends are, the ones who support your decision to become the best version of yourself. Firstly, hygiene. Let's start with the most common problem men have, skincare. We're gonna keep it very simple. Go to your local pharmacist and get three things, a facial cleanser, a moisturizer, and sunscreen. I would recommend doing some research and trying out different products to see what works with your skin, but I personally use CeraVe. In the morning, you have a shower, you use the facial cleanser, and then when you finish the shower, you moisturize and you put sunscreen on. Then, before bed at night, do the same thing. And don't you fucking dare not use sunscreen. There is nothing harder in this world than the motherfucking sun. And a quick bonus, if you have acne, like I did when I was younger, I recommend using retinol as well. Okay, let's talk about hair. This is extremely simple, so there is no reason why you shouldn't be doing this already. Number one, make sure to get haircuts consistently. Number two, keep your hair clean at all times. You shouldn't be able to drain your hair and use it as cooking oil. That's just fucking foul. Now, for dental hygiene. Now I know some of you don't floss and don't brush your teeth at night. That taste in your mouth in the morning is not normal, Timmy. That blood that comes out when you floss, that's not normal too, bro. And you know that feeling you get of air between your teeth after you've gone to the dentist? That's what your teeth should feel like every day. There are four easy steps to follow if you want a nice smile for your pictures and if you want to not get told that your breath smells like shit every time you go in for a kiss. Step one, brush your fucking teeth properly. The front, the gums, the back. This is the most important step. Step two, floss. Specifically, get one of these water flosses. It is extremely easy to use and the new purchase will make you use it instead of it just sitting in your bathroom counter. Step three, buy a tongue scrubber and put it in your shower and use it. I know it will feel like you're gagging on Tyrone's Tinky, but when you see what comes out of your tongue, you're gonna thank me. And step four, rinse with whitening mouthwash before you go out anywhere. And now for what we're all here for fitness. If you're already working out, first of all, let's go mate. I'm proud of you. That's the first and easiest step to get started and you're already on the money. The thing to focus on is your diet and making sure you're lean and looking shredded for the New Year's party. I also want you to go and buy creatine and use it daily, which will make your muscles look bigger. Now, for the guys that haven't lifted before, I want you to start lifting three to five times a week. And for what exercises to do, just look up some YouTube videos from Jeff Nippard. He is amazing and I highly recommend him to anyone getting started. Now, let's say you physically can't work out because you're obese, because you have injuries. What I want you to start doing is walking. Just walk every day. The average person will burn 200 to 350 calories per hour walking at a normal pace. And when you're ready, I want you to go into the gym and start lifting. Now, about fashion. I personally only really shop at Uniqlo. That's the specific style that I like. It's just simple, smart streetwear. What I want you to do is go on Instagram and instead of following only fan sluts, I want you to start searching up men's fashion. Screenshot everything you like and then go into big clothing stores and search for those items. I don't recommend buying anything online as you want your clothes to fit on you properly and the only way to know is to try it on first. Now, for your diet, there's one simple rule. If the shit you're eating can't be found in the wildy, don't fucking eat it. That means from today you eat fruits, vegetables, meats, and other natural products. No bro, bags of chips are not natural and frozen fish fingers are also out of the picture. And if you have allergies like dairy for example, please stop eating it as it has more effects on your body than just making you need a shit too quick. It can affect your gut microbiome, your skin, and even your mental health. 
Finally, focus on getting your mindset right. You may be the sexiest cunt out there, but if you're boring, awkward, or uninspiring, then no one will care about you. There's a reason why Elon Musk has fucked multiple tens and has 11 kids running around. It's because he's an interesting and intelligent person, even if he looks like this. The best way to succeed in life is to be the most interesting person in the room. This will help you build relationships, but most importantly, it will help you in business. So from today, rather than doom scrolling on YouTube shorts, I want you to start listening to podcasts that interest you. Maybe learn a new language, read books about something that fascinates you. We live in an age where there is so much media out there for anyone to enjoy. We just need to make sure that the media adds something to our life instead of sucking time out of our day. You want to change on the inside because once you look like a 10 on the outside, you want people to understand that you're a 10 on the inside too. Having an interesting thing to add to a conversation is half the battle. So that's it boys, a few simple steps to get to where you want in life. I would usually say good luck, but you don't need luck, you need focus. So focus up and go and be the best version of yourself that you can be. And if all else fails, you've always got Southeast Asia.